Hey, I just want to make a quick video and show you some of the annotation functionality of PowerPoint so that if uh, if you if you use a PowerPoint presentation on Zoom, you'll be able to, to annotate, draw over them, uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, here we go. I'm just going to jump right in. So you want to have this uh, open on your, on your tablet screen. Uh, obviously, be in Zoom and share this screen with students. Once you've done that, um, you start your presentation, you start talking to them, and you want to draw something, uh, you want to click on this draw button up here. It'll bring up this list of pins here, this list of tools. There's also an eraser here. Um, make sure that you've got draw with touch selected, not select. So click draw with touch. It'll activate these pins. You'll kind of see them move. And then from there, it's as simple as coming over here with the pen on the tablet and drawing. Just like that. Um, I can change the colors of these pens by going to the little down arrow here. If I want to make them thicker or thinner, I can do that. Um, so if I want to, let's say I want a purple pen, and then I also want to quickly be able to switch to a, a blue pen. So I've got purple and blue here on deck. If I want to change what one of those is, I'll have to just click it down arrow and change it, but that gives me two quick choices. So if I need to you know, draw in purple and then quickly switch to blue, I can do that. Uh, the one in the middle is a pencil tool. Frankly, I think it's kind of useless. Um, it doesn't draw very thick. I don't think it does a very good job. The highlighter is handy to have. Um, and then this last one is kind of a fun pen. Um, it's got some effects down here. You can make it a solid color, but it's got some effects down here. So if you want to draw in rainbow glitter, you can draw in rainbow glitter. Um, if you want to erase, obviously, here's your eraser. Um, you can change it to what they call the stroke eraser, which sounds terrible, but basically it means that I, cl I drew this whole thing at one time, so if I have it set on that, if I just touch this, it'll erase the entire thing. So if you don't like that, which I personally don't, um, you can change it to small or medium, and it'll actually just erase, you know, what you're actually touching, which which makes more sense to me. You need to erase a bigger area. You may want to do medium. If you're trying to clear a whole page, the stroke eraser is nice because then you just have to touch where you've where you've made marks, and it'll kind of quickly clear them out. So hopefully that helps. Um, I did want to show you one more thing. Um, you can add another page in here. So if I'm lecturing to students and I need a blank space to draw on, so I don't want to go to my next slide, but I just want to draw on some blank space show them something else, I can right click over here on this slide, I can click on new slide, and it'll open me a new slide. Now right now it's got that stuff on it like I'm going to create something, but if I right click on that new slide and go to layout and go to blank, it blanks that slide out. Uh, you may have to close like a design thing over here, just, just close it, and then you'll have a blank slide that you can draw on as much as you want. And you can do that as many times as you want. Um, I click do click. I meant to click do. So new slide, and it'll actually just go back to the same one you created. So it'll already be blank for you after that first one. Um, if you want to delete those out, right click, click delete, no big deal. Um, and you'll be right back to normal. If you draw on a PowerPoint and save it, it'll save those drawings so you can share that with students. Hope that helps. Um, have a great day.